a, a recent drug that has been approved by the FDA uh, for dog cancer use is a drug called Kynavet. And uh, we'll ask you, Dr. Ettinger, uh, tell us a little bit about Kynavet. So Kynavet is in the same class of drugs as Palladia, so they're both CKID inhibitors. Um, so they're both in this um, new evolution of anti-cancer drugs called targeted therapy. And what's interesting and exciting about Kynavet is that um, if your dog was on Palladia and has developed a resistance or is not tolerant to it, you could try the other one. And they have slightly different, um, uh, um, they affect different receptors. So again, there's you know reason to think that if your pet is resistant to one, um, you can try the other and it may still have some efficacy. Now, I understand that one of the things that you have to be uh, watch out for if your dog is on Palladia is you have to be very careful in terms of picking up and, and using a glove when, when you uh, pick up the dog's waist. Is that the same with kind of that? Yeah, and with both of them, I do recommend common sense precautions that you just want to use a glove. Um, both of the medications are coated, so when you're, give it, when you're administering the medication to your dog, you don't actually have to wear a glove, but I always advise owners to have those gloves right by. So if your dog spits the medication out, slip the glove on, then pick up the medication and try to give it back to your pet, because once the saliva gets on it, the seal will be broken. But I do recommend um, why your pet is on either one of these anti-cancer therapies and you're cleaning up their pee, their poop, or if they vomit in the house that you want to wear gloves and then wash your hands afterwards. Dr. Dressler. It is important to try to protect yourself. Uh, remember also to never uh, break open or split chemotherapy tablets because the powder gets aerosolized and that means it goes up in the air. Even if you may not see it with your naked eyes, but there can be microscopic bits of uh, chemotherapy drug flying around. This is very important for pregnant women and also for people who have immune compromise, uh, AIDS uh, patients and also uh, cancer patients, as it turns out, human cancer patients, uh, also hepatitis patients, uh, and of course, uh, young children. So uh, do protect yourself uh, in the way that Dr. Edger said, because limiting exposure uh, is very prudent. Two new drugs available for dog cancer. Talk to your vet, talk to your oncologist about that. Dr. Ettinger in New York, Dr. Dressler in Hawaii. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank, Thank you. you.